Good afternoon. I am Half a Million, and this is how to place an order using Power E-Trade. I do not represent E-Trade. I don't work for them. I am only associated with them insofar as they are my broker. This is not investment advice. This is for educational purposes only. Okay. So first of all, in case you didn't know, in order to launch uh, Power E-Trade, you're just going to come to E-Trade, log into your account, go to Accounts, Complete View, Launch. I assume you already know how to do that, but just in case. I have already done that, so here is my Power E-Trade platform. So, um, there are several ways that you can place an order if you like. I will start with this one. You navigate to the stock that you want, let's say GNPX. And then you go to trade, and it will bring up an order box for you. I believe that it defaults to a limit order. So when you want to place your trade, first make sure that the ticker is right, GNPX, because sometimes it's not. Um, then you ensure uh, that your action is buy or sell, depending on what you want. Then you specify your size. Later in the video, I'll show you how to do a um, how to set a default size so that if you have a size that you always prefer to trade, if that's part of your trading plan, then you can just uh, have it auto populate to your size. Even then, you should make sure it's the size that you want because sometimes you can accidentally click on these buttons and get something that you don't want. Uh, also, there are these buttons, so if you wanted to change the size thus, you could, or you could delete what's there and put whatever you want. So, that being done, uh, you specify your size. Okay, if it's a limit order, you can place the specific price that you want. Or you can click on the bid or the ask. If the spread is big enough, you can click on the mid and it'll put it in there for you. If you don't want to place a limit order, you can change it under price type to a market order. A market order buy is always going to get you in on the ask. A market order sell is always going to get you in on the bid. Unfortunately, with some of these volatile stocks, the bid and the ask change rapidly. So I don't tend to use market orders because you don't always know what you're going to get. Um, so automation, you don't want any automation for this um, thing. We're going to do another video on quote triggers during the day. Uh, day order is good if you have a specific plan. Good until canceled will always work during market orders, or market hours. Uh, it only stays good for 60 days, so if your order doesn't execute after 60 days, they kill it, they cancel it. Um, and then good till date, you can put your own date. So say you wanted to place an order, you thought it would be down at, let's say, 3 tomorrow, so you put good until tomorrow, and then you put in the date. Let's talk for a second about extended hours. Extended hours are how you would make a purchase or a sale during um, extended hours, pre-market or after hours. But the order stays good through the day. You'll notice that it says day plus extended hours. So if you're trying to place an order during pre-market, you're going to go duration extended hours. And special handling, we're going to do, oh, all or none, right? So sometimes you get a partial fill if you're trying to buy, let's say, a 1,000 shares, and you only want it if you can get it all right now. So you might say an all or none order, and then the only way that you would get filled is if someone would sell you or buy from you uh, the entirety of your quantity. So that is the order box and that's how to um, access the order box. I'm going to go over later how to uh, disable the auto send function 
but you can do it by simply clicking this box. There's a way to change the default as well. So let's say that you wanted to um, place an order immediately, you didn't want to go trade and then all of that other stuff. You can, if you want to buy, you can click the ask, boom, pops up an order box. There you go, it's already on the ask. See how quickly the ask changed? Anyway, or if you want to sell, if you click on the bid, it auto-populates to a sell option right there on the bid. Again, changes really fast. So there is that. And then there's also the order box over here. So you can um, rapidly enter or exit at a market price. If you don't have auto send clicked, and you click buy market, it'll pop up an order box and then immediately take you to the preview. And then you can click send if you would like to. So that is how all that works. Let me show you how to put the order box on your widget thing. So you go up here to this windows and you click the windows and you got all this handy stuff. So let's say I didn't have, yeah, delete that widget. Let's say I didn't have that there. So then you click on plus, you click on quick trade is gonna be your window box or your uh, quick trade widget. And then you can move it to where you like to have it. Um, all right, let's see. I told you that I would show you how to change the default trade quantities. All right, so. As you witnessed, you go to the gear up here, that's settings. We're all millennials, we know this stuff. You click on the gear, it brings you to trade quantities, and then you can pick um, quantities for each sort of investment vehicle. Equities, of course, are gonna be stocks and ETFs. And then you can put uh, whatever you like on there. 10 million! No, I, I don't want that to be there. That's good enough for me. All right, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're a new trader and you're looking for instruction and guidance, I highly recommend Sean Deckmar over at tradecaster.com, Deckmar Trades. Uh, Deck is the man, like he's really cool, really friendly, extremely professional, keeps the chat clean. The, the jokes are to die for, the, the pictures are exquisite. Oh, okay, they're they're really just kind of like he's drawing with a mouse, but um, he could seriously teach stock trading to a five-year-old. So I definitely recommend um, Sean Deckmar over at Tradecaster.com. Thank you so very much, and I wish you a wonderful trading career or hobby, whatever, you, however you like. All right, bye.